these massive cities, they're so visually appealing from a movie point of view. The concept that big cities eat small cities, and as a result, they evolve. London's a pyramid-tiered society. Down at the very base, you have the gut workers down in the great engine rooms. Then as you go up tier by tier, the people get more and more wealthy. My character definitely belongs to the upper decks, the upper echelon of society. The traction cities are all about survival of the fastest. Run it down! And then you have people that want to change the world. London's heading east towards Shanguo. The Anti-Traction League is a league of warriors. They're just defending a way of life. We have to stop London before it destroys us. They have very different philosophies about how to survive. Those that want to live in static settlements have all shored up their resources and live there in peace and harmony. Tonight, we take the fight to the Anti-Traction League. Mortal Engines is the story of all these worlds crashing into each other. The physics behind some of the stuff that we're building, it's definitely finding that sweet spot between something which is convincing and selling that scale. When it came to ingesting other cities, we organically figured that one out. We did have tests. We did look at a lot of reference, especially big machinery crumbling and getting destroyed. The model engines feels like it's got a great rolling momentum to it. How often do we go to the movies today and see things that we genuinely have never seen before?